the first ever edition of Motoring Thursday the video outside blog. the adventures, the, the video blog, yeah. I don't know, we don't know what to call this yet. My name is Neil Almighty. I'm done with a G. For a month. And uh, we're on every Thursday on 99.5 RT from 10 a.m. till 12 noon. The uh, ongoing adventures of the Motoring Thursday Trio. Yeah, video version. That's right. <laughs> also today we will be reviewing a uh, couple of cars. Yes, the BMW X1. It's new for 2010. Right. And we're also shooting the all-new X-Trail, which was launched um, last Yesterday. night. Yesterday. Last, last night. night. Um, it's new, I call it the super size version. It's a lot bigger than, than the older one and later on we're going to take it out on track and tell you about it also later during this class. This is Motoring Thursday on a Saturday. <laughs> on, a Saturday. <laughs> on a Saturday at Clark International Speedway. We've got Neil Almighty behind the wheel and um, Furman behind the camera. Yes, I am being the passenger today. I am reviewing the ride <laughs> in the back seat. <laughs> and uh, of course, we've got Neil taking the wheel, taking charge, and then Doc, the co pilot, <laughs> in the shotgun seat. Yeah, so, yeah, basically, what we're doing is taking. Um, the X1 around the track really slowly, slowly, <laughs> trying to find out um, what it can do. We're not gonna go fast anytime soon. But um, we're gonna tell you about the car itself. It's a two-liter um, diesel, turbo diesel, turbo diesel. What it's supposed to be is it's a new model altogether for BMW. It doesn't replace the X3 at all. Um, it's targeting a younger market, and as you can see from the inside. It's really nice and you know, bright and shiny. It's, it looks like um, someone for, who's really young has not the traditional BMW market, but now they've got something that's uh, fun to drive, uh, closer to the ground than, than the typical S SAV, they call it. What does um, SAV stand for? Sports Activity Vehicle. That's what BMW likes to call their SUV. Very important. It's a four-wheel drive, uh, but it's not, like I said, it's not your typical SAV. It's, it's much closer to the ground than your typical um, SAV. But um, the advantage is that it, uh, it's got great balance in it. And as you can see, running around the track, uh, it really shows. It's easier to handle than your average um, car. So it handles pretty well, doesn't it? It does, especially at this speed. Uh, yep, we're doing 40. <laughs> so we're not driving fast now, right? Perman? Yep, we're not driving fast now. But, but when we drove this in the uh, Autofogo Sampaguita Rally back uh, earlier this summer, it was fast. Uh, like uh, you could put your license in Jeopardy in just like that. <laughs> and uh, Furman, you know about over the limit, right? Uh, <laughs> so this is exactly what we're doing here in Clark right now. We were, we're here for the... Uh, uh, what do you call it, fellas? Today's uh, track day, it's uh, titled Speed Lab, Top Gear, uh, HM, uh, 99.5 RT, Drag Experience, uh, Battle Version. So what goes on today is uh, basically all the participants pay a flat rate of 1500 <laughs> entry fee. And then uh, they get to run the entire day, uh, the whole day, down a quarter mile, until they're tired or they get run out of gas or even if they run out of gas, they can go out and fill up with gas and come back and keep on running until the day's end. So they can get their time slips, they can get their bragging rights to their friends, compare time to their friends, all under a safe venue here inside Clark International Speedway. Yeah, so what we're saying here is that if you're going to race, keep it safe, right? Keep it in track. 